Hi, and welcome back. Today I wanted to go over a different AI application that I found on the web. The application is called content at scale.ai. Now content.scale.ai, as you can see from the screen here, is an SEO focused content tool for marketers. Basically what they can do is they can make, you give them a title and some keywords and they can make a 3000 plus word blog post all ready to cut and paste into your favorite blog platform. So today I wanted to walk through how it works and let you decide whether or not it's worth the price. So just to put it out there, first of all, I do not have any association with this company. I do have an account with them, but as you'll notice, I do not have any content, you know, affiliate link associated with this or anything like that. This is for you guys to decide. I'm not getting paid by them. I'm not getting any compensation from them in any way, shape or form. So this is a completely unbiased opinion as to the viability of this particular tool. So when you go to the content scale, content at scale.ai uh, website, this is what you're greeted with. It is basically just the ability to turn, it's currently in beta right now, but you, if you sign up for one of their plans, they will give you instant access to the system. Uh, so there's really not a lot here on their homepage, uh, but they do go through some explanations as to how it all works. And their big thing on here is that their content is so good that it cannot be detected as AI content on AI content detectors. And it also will not be registered on any of the plagiarism detectors out there. They do have quite a bit of stuff going for them, but I just wanted to walk through how it all works and give you my basic opinion on it. So let me get into this with you guys. Once you log in, you'll be greeted with the dashboard for your system. Up here in the uh, top, we'll show you how many credits you get. I'll go over those in a little bit, but this shows you how many posts you created, how many words were generated, time saved by their estimate, and how much money, again, by their estimate that you saved by using their services. Um, the information here is somewhat useful in my opinion, not greatly useful. The one thing that I find very useful about this though is once you create a post, you can have a team of people working on it. So you, if you have a copywriter um, or a team of copywriters, they can come in here, generate a post, use that as a platform to generate content quickly and easily very in the system. How does it all work? Well, the first thing you wanna do is create a project. So you click on this projects tab over here and that brings you to this screen. Click on create new project is type in your company name or the website name. So now the project context, this is gonna be very important because they take a lot of their clues as to what, what to write about from this line. So for example, if I wanted to write something about, is it still worth doing day trading in 2023. Okay, who's my target audience? Business people and investors. My translation language, now they have a bunch of different languages here that you can uh, use to automatically translate your uh, script, which is really, really nice. Project URL. So the project URL is basically the URL of your website. So this is handy because when it creates internal links, it wants to link things back to your post. So you can use that. Monthly posts, that's just basically a goal for how many posts you want to do. And for the tone of voice, there's some very nice ones in here, like a professional one. And then you can set the length of your, uh, how many words you want in the system. Uh, anywhere from less than 750 to more than 3000. So we'll go for the big one here since I'm spending money for this. <laughs> then you go create project. Now it wants keywords. So I want day trading stock 
stock market and let's say penny stocks. These are also keywords that it will try and get you or get into the blog post as much as possible to rank you higher within Google search engine. And again, you can do additional context. So we're going to talk about whether day trading is a viable wealth strategy in 2023. One of the things you can do from this particular page, which is very handy to me at least, is when you click on this customize button, it will show you what the general outline is for the article it wants to create. Now this takes a few moments, but here you can see it breaks down how it's going to outline this article for you. And then you can move these, you can move these around, put them in different orders. You can add uh, sections or you can remove them. Like for example, if I want this down here, you can uh, remove sections or you can click on here to add your own and it will try its best to generate content to meet what you type in here. So for example, if I type in a heading and I want to type in long-term penny stocks versus day trading. Penny stocks better than day trading. You can add this header in there and it will add it to your outline. Now you can reposition it or, any, or things along those lines. I'm just going to delete this for now. So you can check that box, click on remove, confirm, and then you want to say add to keyword queue. Once you have your keywords, you can go in here, check this box and say create post. Now, once you click on that create post, it's going to take a few minutes, up to four or five minutes on average to generate the article for you. And once it's done here, I'm going to show you what that article looks like. And as you can see up here in the top, my credits went from 18 to 17. This is how much I love you all. <laughs> Spending real money on this. Uh, as you're waiting for the article to be created, it will go through different phases. Like right now, this article is in pending optimization. So it writes the article and it checks it over several times. So it's very, very thorough on how well, you know, on building your articles for you. Finish up creating our masterwork. Our article is finished writing. And as you can see here, we now have a blue link down here and it shows total posts as one. So if we click on this link, we will get to see our article in all its glory. Now what it does is you can choose a selected featured image. So this would be like the, the header image for your particular article. It shows you your URL slug over here, what that's going to look like. You can edit this. You can also edit the meta description and over here, it shows you how it optimized your article. And it gives you a checklist as the things it's done and hasn't done to its own satisfaction. This is a nice thing to look at for your, if you're gonna have somebody go through here and update this and tweak it to your particular needs, this will be a nice uh, checklist on there. You can also, go into the brief mode, and this will give you information as to where it pulled its information from. So there's this article here, best penny stocks to trade daily watch lists and alerts, and it will show you exactly what information it got from, or you know, uh, what links it got information from. You can add or remove uh, links to this, and you can also, uh, if you don't like how the the post is written, you can click on rerun post and it will rebuild your post. That's also something to keep in mind. In this section over here, it shows you how many words that you create. In this case, we create 3,288 words, 46 paragraphs, 15 headings, and zero forms of media. Now, media in this particular instance means images, sound files, whatever it is that you want to use in your particular blog post. And you can add those all in as you like. But as you can see here, it has the hook for your article. Day trading is an investment strategy that involves buying and selling stocks or other securities within the same day. 
basically gives you a rundown as to what day trading is. And here you have a complete table of contents that these are all hot links. So we'll go right to that particular section. Everything is formatted in H tags. So as you can see here, it's a heading two tag. You can then read through everything that you have here. Some of the nice things in here is it puts these takeaway frames in here. So those are nice. And one of the other things it does, aside from the takeaways, one of the things it will also do every now and then is it will put in a link for if you want to uh, tweet about this particular article. It will have a clickable link here where you can click on that and it will click a pre-generated tweet with links to your article from this website. So if a user comes by and they like that, they can just click on one button and a pre-generated tweet goes out that links people back to your article. So it's another form of lead generation that this helps build into the system. Some of the other things that are nice about this is it puts in an FAQ system. It puts in a uh, conclusion basically down here with uh, con you know, contact information for you. It's very thorough on everything that it does. It's a great platform to write amazing articles off of. Now, you do want to proofread it. You do want to make sure that the information is correct. Uh, there are things that it knows and there's things that it doesn't know very well. So you want to make sure that you're operating within niches that it understands to get on to the big old elephant in the room. You know, what does this cost? Something that creates 3000 word plus content for your blogs, builds it with full on SEO optimization, allows teams to edit your blog posts before they're, they're sent to your uh, users. What does this thing cost? It costs a pretty penny. Let me tell you, show you the, uh, the costs here. If you want starter plan, which is what I'm currently on, it's $500 a month. That roughly equates to, what is that? $25 per post. So yeah, that's what you guys just watched me spend. <laughs> then you can do uh, the scaling uh, level, which is $1,000 per month for 50 posts. Plus it includes a WordPress, pr pr a WordPress plugin. Say that five times fast. And then the agency, which is $1,500 a month which is 100 posts per month, includes the WordPress plugin and white label support. Now, that is pretty much everything that I know of about content at scale.ai. If you have a blog that is generating you money or you want to generate money quickly, this may or may not be worth it to you. You'll have to decide for yourself. As always, I hope you enjoyed this review of content at scale.ai. If you guys have any comments or questions, please do leave them down in the comments as I do love hearing from you guys. And as always, I wish you a fantastic day. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.